This is my newest video, Top 10 Bug Type Pokemon. I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I've not been, I've, I've not felt very motivated, to be honest. I had COVID, family had COVID. I was in isolation for a month. Short inversion of the story. Not really um, atmosphere to feel very motivated in. So, I'm sorry for the lack of videos, but I'm back. I'm better than ever. I'm here today with a brand new video. You've probably seen the title, unless you're literate and Sorry for bringing that up. And to be honest, in real life, I'm not the biggest fan of bugs or insects. But I would be happy with these Pokemon, and I'd consider letting them be near me, even potentially crawling in me some of them. And I'd chill out with some of them as well, you know. And I wouldn't like, you know, go ballistic when I saw one of these. Some of the ones aren't, that aren't on this list, I might. But, with all my nonsense talking out of the way, let's move on to number 10. Number 10, Joltik. Personally, I'm not a big fan of spiders in real life. I scream when I see one on me. Let me tell you about a little incident that happened a few weeks prior to the recording of this. I was laying in bed watching anime, Naruto great show and I look down I glance and I see a spider crawling up my hoodie and I lost it I jumped up and down three times to, it had like a thread on me so it was stuck till it fell into my bed sheets somewhere and I could not see so I just got the bed sheets and I went threw them under the floor left my room for an hour and didn't come back till I was like okay the spider's gone saw him in the corner room and then left it but, I think I'd be fine with Joltik, as long as he never evolved. But if he did, I might not be able to say the same about him. He just looks like too much of a trash shell, his evolved form. But he's just so cute, I feel like I can make an exception with Joltik. Let's move on to number 9. 9. Venipedal. Venipede? I don't know how you say it. Might be wrong. Correct me in the comments. I don't have a real reason for liking this Pokemon. I just remember this Pokemon very vividly from the black and white episode when they overran the whole city which I just find to be kind of funny also I mean look at his face it's funny how serious he looks but he looks so cute as well I can't help but laughing a little inside whenever I see this Pokemon you know when you see like a baby who's like grumpy like just a pouty face but it's kind of funny because they're so cute pulling a funny like a grumpy face same energy from this Pokemon. But now let's move on to number eight. Number eight. Snom. Yes, Snom is in the list. Yes. Okay. You don't need to comment about it. I knew if I did not put this Pokemon in, it would be in the comments within seconds of this video going live. Because Snom has become an iconic Sword and Shield Pokemon. A memed Pokemon, if you will. I'm pretty certain that some people say would say their religion is Snom. And then you go, I oh, Lord and Savior and Snom, have you the word of Snom? But personally, I believe our Lord and Savior is actually none other than the almighty Badoof. But it's pretty cute. I mean, look at this photo. And this photo? Oh, and that one. Well, let's move on to number seven. Number seven, Shuckle. I mean... Have you watched the Dorkly videos with Shuckle? They're just amazing. I don't even know if that does it justice, but I'll leave the link below. You can decide for yourself. Shuckle apparently stores berries in its shell and eventually becomes a thick, pulpy juice. I mean, Jamba juice anyone? I mean, I'd hang with Shuckle if it made me a, a smoothie every once in a while. I mean, that 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 top ten friend list. If if you make me a smoothie, when I visit you, like in a good one or even a milkshake, top ten. What trickle lacks in attack, special attack, HP, and speed? Jeez, that's a lot. He makes up in defense and special defense. He's literally a tank. And I remember seeing many videos, uh, a while back. When they set up with moves to make Shuckle do tons of damage, like an insta-kill 
any Pokemon move. Yeah, but he's just kind. Of, he's just a funny Pokemon. I had to include him. But let's move on to number six. Number six, Yanma. What can I say besides it's just a big dragonfly, and they're cool. I can deal with dragonflies. It's not the strongest Pokemon. He's pretty weak in general. But what it lacks in power, it makes up with speed. Insert a Sonic joke here. Also, in its Pokedex, it says without even moving its eyes, it can see 360 degrees. Is that a thing you did, Tim? The Yama knows. The Yama knows what you did. So don't commit any crimes near Yama. If all you know, it could be the FBI. That's like the Pokemon FBI. Like, they see what you're doing always. So, honestly, do you see any Yanma? Run. But without further ado, let's move on to number five. Number five. Genesect. He got his own movie. So you know he's cool. That's like the status quo to get into the top ten coolest Pokemon. Like, if you have a movie, you're pretty cool. Genesect apparently is... 300 million years old and then team plasma altered him and gave him a military grade cannon on his back so if you annoy him that po this pokemon they will literally murder you so don't call him a boomer or you will go boom for your own sake please heed this warning this has been a public service announcement on to number four canopy canopy is an og bug type Pokemon. A cult classic if you will. We all know him. We all love him. Besides Misty of course and some probably cried when we say bye to Butterfly. It's evolved form. Brought a tear to my eye. But I'm focusing on Caterpie. He's like a caterpillar and they don't mind me too much. It seems everyone loves Caterpie. Especially bug catches on the early roots in red and blue. They all have like Five cat, please, but I don't blame them. They're so cute. I'd let one crawl on my shoulder. But now, let's move on to number three. With number three, Swaddle. I love him. I love Swaddle. He's just downright cool. He makes his own clothing. This Pokemon makes its clothing for itself. It chews up leaves and ensues. Then, with sticky threads extending from its mouth like string, it also is said. It, it just makes them. It's so cool. It's so sad because Swaddle makes his own clothing. He's a popular choice as a mascot for fashion companies. I mean, he he's is styling. He's got what well, the what people like to say the drip. Can someone draw Swaddle with like the whole like that whole outfit, please? I want to see that now. I wonder if me and him became good enough friends, or if I became good enough friends with the Swaddle it is, would you make me a nice comfy hoodie? Because if so, I think that seals the deal for me. I'll, I'll, let, him, I'll let him chill on my shoulder and crawl on my head and every all over me if he makes me a nice comfy hoodie. I mean, my style isn't great. He'd probably help me a lot, actually. <laughs> but let's move on to number two. Number two, Heracross. When I first saw Heracross, was when I was watching the anime, and I was like... I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! Then, look at his mega. He looks like he could easily break every bone on my body with one finger. And I think I'd rather Heracross be on my side. And listen to the Pokedex entry on just Heracross, not as Mega even. A Pokemon, this Pokemon takes pride in its strength, which allows it to lift things a hundred times heavier than itself with no trouble at all. And then if that's not enough, look at his, listen to his Mega uh, Evolution entry. It can grip things with its two horns and lift 500 times its own body weight. This just shows the pure strength Heracross has. Normally, you swat a bug, but if you're not careful, the bug's gonna swat you this time. 
Let's move on to number one. In my opinion, the coolest Pokemon on this list. Not the cutest, coolest. Number one, Scyther. Scyther is just such a cool Pokemon. Honestly, rather Scyther than its evolved form, Scizor. Its Pokedex entry says, with ninja-like agility and speed, it creates illusion that there is more than one of them. And this just feeds my inner anime fan. It makes me, you know, remember Naruto. Can someone draw him as like, like a Scyther from like, Nar like a member from Naruto? On the show, please, someone do this for me. But let me continue. But I don't know about you, but I think this sounds super cool. And Scyther is honestly one of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. I mean, just look at this clip of Scyther. He knows he's cool, and it shows. Thank you all for watching this video. Tell me your favorite top 10 bug types in the comments if you disagree or agree and if you wouldn't mind would you subscribe and leave a like we're so close to 151 subscribers which is when i'll be drawing all 151 pokemon and ms pay in one go either on stream or recording but i'll see you in the next video so have a nice day and leave a comment what should i do next so long Bye-bye.